This is the video that continues to divide public opinion on how to deal with crime in the country, with one suspect already lying on the ground, apparently dead. This plain-clothed police officer is seen shooting at the young man, walking away, then returning to pump more bullets, the execution witnessed by a sizable crowd. Following an outcry over the killing, the police were back at the scene, seemingly collecting evidence of yesterday's shooting. At the home of Mohammed Kadar, his mother is struggling to come to terms with the sudden death of her 16-year-old son. Speaking through a translator, she wanted information on the whereabouts of her son's body. Na dini yetu inasema mtoto mtu akikufa saa hiyo hiyo anavaa asikwe. Na tunaomba maiti ya mtoto tupate haraka haraka. Mohammed's family admits their teenage son engaged in crime but insist he was merely a petty thief. Havana chukua kiso, havana chukua rasazi, lakini ni hizi ya ndogo ndogo ili nusukua mafuka watu. But Nairobi County Police Commander Japheth Kome painted a different picture of a hardened and dangerous criminal on their wanted list. The same gangster shoots my officer. I'm burying, I'm buried him. I'm in the mirror now as you're talking, burying my officer, a corporal. The other one was shot last night. Mm. So do I continue burying my officers as criminals uh, are being protected by other people who want to go to the med social media, they, they want to cut at the pace, create mm. a story, tell them. Home is not discouraged. The brazen murder has been condemned by human rights organizations who now want an investigation into the incident. In a statement, the Independent Medical Legal Unit said, and I quote, this clearly points to an execution in cold blood. IMLU condemns misuse of firearms either by civilians or police officers and calls on IPOA to move with speed to investigate alleged police involvement in this cold-blooded murder. Kome dismissed the video circulating on social media, saying it had been edited to paint police in bad light. Give it as have credible evidence, but no. Mokora Yote, mm. any of them, Kome is ruthless and has no mercy. Or raw and order must be maintained. On Twitter, Josamu said, until you're robbed, attacked by thugs, you won't really understand why some of us are congratulating police officers initially. On his part, Gabriel is incensed, stating that the police were at war with the citizens. The superpower gang that operates in Isili is said to be ruthless, killing and maiming. The two suspects killed in Isili yesterday are said to belong to the superpower gang. The gang comprises of young men between the ages of 14 and 25 of Somali descent who have been deported from America, Europe and United Kingdom. They wield guns and knives in terrorizing locals as their survival is dependent on robbery and extortion. The proceeds are used to fuel their flashy lifestyles as well as fund their drug addiction. For Citizen Weekend, I am Anne Mawade.